Good morning. I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. The S&P 500 trimmed an earlier decline on Tuesday, boosted by tech shares as Wall Street looked to regain its footing after a tough start to 2024. The broad market index closed lower by 0.15%. At its lows of the day, the benchmark has dropped 0.7%. The Dow Jones Industrial Average lost 0.42% after being down by roughly 310 points at the session lows. The Nasdaq Composite recovered from a nearly 0.9% slide and eked out a gain of 0.09%. Nvidia traded 1.7% higher, reaching a fresh all-time high. Amazon was also up more than 1.5% along with Alphabet. Shares of Juniper Networks also popped almost 22% on Tuesday after a report in the Wall Street Journal said Hewlett, Packard, Enterprise could announce a deal to acquire the networking hardware company for about $13 billion as soon as this week. The deal would help bolster the nearly 100-year-old technology company's artificial intelligence offerings. Tech, the big outperformer for 2023, struggled out of the gate in 2024, putting pressure on the broader market. Year-to-date thus far, the space is down more than 1%. Overnight, however, it was one of the top performers, closing 0.23% higher. Energy was the worst performer. Those moves come after a strong trading session for equities. The S&P 500 and the Nasdaq Composite on Monday rallies mega cap tech stocks bounce back from last week's decline. Later this week, investors will pass through a pair of key inflation readings to gain clarity into the path forward for rate cuts from the Federal Reserve. The December Consumer Price Index is set for release on Thursday, followed by the Producer Price Index on Friday. Companies reporting earnings this week include Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company and Infoseas on Thursday as well as JP Morgan Chase, United Health, Bank of America and Delta Airlines on Friday, among other financial heavyweights. Turning to commodities, during Q4 2023, Europe generated more electricity from wind than coal, emphasising progress in in the energy transition. Sustaining clean energy momentum depends on key coal-consuming countries, Germany, Poland and Turkey, and their economic conditions. Oil prices rebounded on Tuesday with the WTI futures up 2% at $72.24 per barrel and Brent crude futures gaining 1.76% at $77.46 per barrel following a 3% drop on Monday due to Saudi Arabia's price cuts and ongoing geopolitical tensions. Looking ahead to the Australian landscape, the SPY futures are pointing to a 0.16% fall. Thank you for listening.